up the Florida nominations uh, about a year ago, I had, a, I had other names in mind, actually, besides Bob Fisher, because I thought Bob certainly already was a fellow. You know, when I looked through the list and I saw the name Warren Smith, I remembered, gee, I don't remember reading Bob's name. And uh, Al and I discussed it, and I talked with uh, Tom Godfrey, and Tom also said, gee, I don't remember Bob ever being elected. And we all realized that this was really a grave oversight. And I'm very glad to have nominated Bob, and I'm sure other people probably put his name in as well. I, I don't know. I know I did. And it sailed through the nomination committee. There was no objection whatsoever. We all realized that, uh, quite simply, the bylaws state that the award is given to somebody who exemplifies service to the society and service to the industry in Southern California. Bob certainly has provided service not only to the society and also to Southern California, but worldwide because he literally has taught thousands of people the rudiments of optical design and optical engineering through all the SPIE courses that he has taught over the years. And I remember when I started at Hughes Aircraft Company, this was probably in the late 1970s, I had a friend named Wayne Schoenmacher, who you may remember. And Wayne told me about this guy named Bob Fisher who worked in Canoga Park, and I wanted to learn Code 5. And Bob was doing Code 5, and he said, if you call Bob, he'll have something for you to do. And I called Bob, and I went up there on a regular basis, and I helped him, uh, I remember Tolerance, the IR Maverick system using that uh, general automation computer with the chunk, 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 chunk printer. And it took so long to do a tolerance analysis that Bob and I had lots of time to talk. And he really reignited my interest in optics. And, and I'll really never forget all the help that he gave me. So not only did he you know, provide tremendous service in terms of his presidency uh, of the SPIE, he holds every medal and every honor of every other society except ours, so I think it's about time that we give him uh, our honor, and I'm very, very delighted to do that this evening. Thank you, Bob. Before we ask uh, Robert Fisher to start the 